How's it guys, I'm Houdini and I'm going to be doing a series of instructional videos on Xiaomi networking products from unboxing to setup so that you have a complete system at the end of the tutorial. And today we're going to start off with the AX3000 mesh system from Xiaomi. These tutorials have been taken from your perspective in that you've just bought the product, it's at your house, you need to unbox it and set it up and then you need to do the software installs and firmware installs to be able to have internet access. So we're gonna start off with the unboxings. Okay, so you've just received your Xiaomi AX3000 device or devices. It doesn't matter whether you have a single unit or whether you have a two pack or a three pack or a 10 pack for that matter, because what we're gonna be focusing on now is the physical installation for the primary unit. So we're gonna use a two pack in this instance, but it doesn't matter if it was a one pack. First thing you're gonna do is obviously you're gonna open the box. Uh, once you've opened the box, take out the units. Then look towards the side of the box and take out your cables. Note that underneath the other box or underneath the small box, you will have your little ethernet cable. And that is very important. Okay, once you've got everything together, take a device of your choice. It does not matter and remove it. Don't throw it away, just take it out of your sight. And that means you're gonna to need to take another power cable away. So this means that this unit is going to be our primary node. So what you're gonna to want to do is you're going to want to connect it to power, but you also want to connect the ethernet. So you will plug the ethernet in from your ONT. It's that little fiber box and I'll put a picture up so that you can see that. And that ONT will go in from the ONT in to the ethernet port, the blue one over there. And that'll click in and your power will be plugged in over there. So once that's done and you've turned it on, well, once the, once the power's on, now if the lights go white and white, that means that you've got a dynamic internet, which means that you don't have much setup left to do, but if it doesn't, don't worry, we'll get to that step now. But your physical setup is now done. We're gonna show you the two different setups that you can do. Now that it's unboxed and ready to go, we need to now do the firmware and software so that we can get internet access. And there are two methods in order to do this. The first one is the browser setup. So let's jump into that. Okay, so once your device is plugged in, and powered on go to the desktop laptop of your choice and go to your Wi-Fi settings find the device and connect you can connect to either the 5g or the normal 2.4 it doesn't really matter now if it doesn't open you can go to the device again and say open browser and connect and it will force open the screen which is router.mywifi.com firstly you want to select your country now if South Africa is not there I will show you how to get that at a later stage but you can select any country for now say next and agree to the user agreement Create an administrator password. In this case, I'm just gonna use admin12345. Next, it'll ask you for your broadband account and broadband password. Now, if you have a dynamic line and the internet is still not on, there is a way around this. What you need to do is disconnect the ethernet going into the AX3000. If you do, however, have a PPPoE username and password, you'll enter that now and push next. But for those who have dynamic, just disconnect the ethernet. Once the ethernet is disconnected, you'll only see one light on the router or the AX3000, and that'll be the bottom light. Push back, re-enter the admin password and say next. Now it is saying here that it cannot find internet. What you wanna do is continue set up without connecting a network cable. When it asks you for your work mode, select automatically and push next. Now name your network. This is also known as your SSID and put a password. I'm gonna use the same password for administrator, which is admin12345. Now note at the bottom, this is combined dual band. This means that the 2.4 and five gigahertz will be combined into one so that you only see one SSID and your device will automatically select which is best for it. Also make sure that the bottom two check marks are ticked. The first one is to automatically upgrade the firmware version when there is a new version to update. And this is when the router is idle. The second just gives you a better throughput for your devices. Select next. Now the router is set up and we have a different SSID in Xiaomi with a different password. So at the bottom, we'll see that we have no connectivity and we're not connected to anything. We need to find the new SSID, which is just Xiaomi. 
Note that this may take a little bit of time as the router is setting up. Once you've found it, click on and click connect. Then put in the password, which was admin12345. Now you will get this screen saying that it couldn't connect to a network. All you do is go to the top of the screen take out diagnosis and index and just have router.mywifi.com and push enter. And we'll see that everything is set up, but we don't have internet. In order to sort that out, just plug in the ethernet from your ONT again. Now both lights are burning white, which means that I do have internet. And in order to confirm this, we can just refresh the page. And there you have it, we have internet. Now for those that did not have South Africa as a option, go into settings, go into status and check for updates. We can see that this router is up to date. We did have South Africa as an option, but make sure that you update to the latest version. Once this is done, you need to reset factory data in saying restore and then click restore. What this will do is it'll reset the router with the latest firmware and you will have South Africa as an option and you repeat the steps that took us to this point. Now this is the main menu in which you will see status, settings, advanced, add a mesh node as well as a drop down which allows you to change router name, system update. You can download the app from here, but it's best from your phone, reboot the device or sign out. In status, we'll see what devices are connected. Then we'll see the main router as well as the internet connection. We can also see the model in which we are logged into, which is the AX3000, the firmware version, the MAC address, as well as the serial number. Next in settings, we'll have the Wi-Fi settings, network settings, security, LAN, and status. The only ones that are important for beginner users is in Wi-Fi settings where Smart Connect you can turn on or off if you wanna see the 2.4 and the 5G networks, as well as the ability to change the network name and the password. Once you change it from here, you push save and it'll automatically change the password and you will have to re-log in in all devices. The second method is using the Xiaomi Home app. Okay, now to set up your AX3000 from your mobile phone. So first things first, we want to connect to it via the Wi-Fi. We can see there at the top, there it is, the Xiaomi router and it's the 81A. Now the setup will be very similar to what we experienced on the browser and we will follow the same steps in selecting the country and agreeing to the user agreement. Putting in a admin password, admin 12345, admin 12345, next. So we're gonna have the same error that we had on the browser. Now in order to fix this, we are gonna unplug the ethernet from the ONT. Once this is done, go back, enter in the password again, and say next. Now, same as the browser, we want to continue setup without connecting a network cable. We want to select automatically retrieve IP because we do not have PPPoE on this type of setup. If you do, you can put your PPPoE in here, but it was best to actually do it in the first step. And select next. Now we're going to name the Xiaomi yet again and we are gonna put the password admin12345. Again, we have combined dual band at the top, making sure that the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz are on the same SSID. And at the bottom, we've selected the two checkboxes. The first one, making sure that the router automatically updates itself when it's idle. And the second one, giving a better dynamic bandwidth. And that gives you better coverage as well as experience on your devices. Now we select next. Now it'll run through setup and we will automatically get disconnected from the Wi-Fi because the SSID is changed. Just note that it'll take a minute or two for the router to propagate its new settings and we need to wait for Xiaomi to pop up. And there it is, save network Xiaomi. It's going to ask for a new password because I changed the password and connect and we are connected into the Wi-Fi. Now again we have the same error that we couldn't connect to the network and in order to fix this just select test network and we'll see we still don't have internet. Plug in the ethernet from your ONT and say test again and you'll see we have now got internet. Now we can go into the Xiaomi Home app. Now automatically we have discovered a device which is the new Xiaomi mesh system which is the AX3000 node that we've made as our primary home network. We will say add. It'll ask you for the administrator password. We need to set the room and we're gonna set this up as in the studio. We're just gonna call it Xiaomi. We're going to agree to the user agreement and we are in and the internet is working. If you don't know how to get into this, just click backwards and then we can see Xiaomi Studio. We can go into it again. Now from this menu, we have the ability to add any other mesh network devices, any other nodes, and you can do this simply by pushing the arrow and selecting plus. Begin setup and it'll search. We don't have any other nodes that are available at the moment, but if they are, it will find them in this menu. 
I will show you the full map in which I've connected the AX3000 as well as all the nodes in the house so that you can see a full system working but just for the purposes of this tutorial we are going to continue. Now we can see that the only device that's connected to this network is this phone which is the Poco F4 GT and that is the device management. We also have the ability to see router settings which is the network settings, timed restart, manage password, reset router, upgrade assistant, restore router to factory settings, LED indicator and IPTV. We have router optimization in QoS speed limit and Wi-Fi optimization and we have different router apps which is guest Wi-Fi, anti-hacking protection and WPS. Now the ones that I want to run through firstly in router settings is network settings. Now in here the same as the browser we have the ability to turn off the combined dual band in order to have the 2.4 and 5 separate. We have the ability here to change the SSID, the name of the network as well as the password. Again once you save that just note that on all devices you will need to reconnect we can also have timed restarts and time restarts are really good if you do these at one two o'clock in the morning because a refreshed router will clear the cache and it'll make sure that it's operating in peak performance we also have the ability to restart the router from the app if you are having any issues upgrade assistance is a very valuable little tool and you can go into upgrade assistance and check for upgrades and if there are any upgrades you can update them from your phone something we're not going to do now but we can restore to factory settings from the phone as well as the LED indicator controllers and IPTV. Route optimization we have QoS limit speeds which we're not going to go into now we're actually going to discuss that when we go into individual devices but we have Wi-Fi optimization which is a really healthy tool to be able to take all of your nodes scan all your Wi-Fi channels and put them in the best layout in order to have the best quality. Now we can see that there is one poor connection so we can begin optimization and we can see that the network speed has been increased by 24% note that this is not your internet speed it is the network speed at the bottom you do have the ability to create a guest Wi-Fi network and this is really good especially if you don't want your guests to be drawing on all your bandwidth you can limit what their download and upload speed is on the guest Wi-Fi network lastly we can go into device management view all devices and we can see there we only have the one device but we can go into the device and there's quite a few options that we have to choose from first Firstly, we can deny internet access, we can blacklist the phone, we can see the access control as well as the device information. The most important feature in this menu is smart speed limiting. If you put that on and confirm, you can turn on QoS speed and through this you can actually limit per device in the household what the upload and download speeds are. And that is it, your device is set up, you're able to access it both on the app and you're still able to access on the browser with the same login features. One top tip, if you do have any Xiaomi networking devices in your house and you are buying a new device in order to make that your primary, you do need to make sure that all the other devices are turned off. Otherwise, sometimes when you turn on the new device, it gets recognized into the new network. So just make sure that all devices are off when you are setting up the new device so that you can set up everything from scratch and make it perfect. And that's it. The device is set up, connected and ready to go. If you do have any questions or if there's something you didn't understand, please leave a question in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them as soon as possible. Or maybe one of the communities can get there faster. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. Cheers and goodbye.